Hello, my name is Sarah. I work for California Screen America as a rise operator. And on October 26, 2019, around 10, 15, 10, 30 p.m., Halloween Hot was open and mass hysteria, mass hysteria ensued. I was working a ride by myself. I was working the only ride that was open for Planet Snoopy that night. And all of a sudden, I see this mass group of people running towards the back of the park where I also work. I work multiple rides in the back of the park. And to tell you the truth from what I've heard from supervisors, from security, and from other employees that I work with in the park, there was no active shooter. I want to get that out of the way right now. There was no active shooter. There was no guns. I trust security. I trust the supervisors that I work for. I seriously do not believe that they would lie and say that there was no active shooter. Granted, this is not the first time that mass hysteria has ensued at Great America. Just this year, um, on July 4th of 2019, a gunman did open fire in, uh, not even in the park, but like at the front gates of the park. There was some fight that broke out. I do not know if anyone actually died that night. I pray no one did. But on this past Saturday, no one died. People de were definitely shaken up. My fellow employees and I were shaken up, but no one was injured physically. The mass hysteria and chaos ensued because or it happened because teenagers chose to just start running and there was fights that broke out. They just chose to start running away from the front of the park. And of course, because some people are running, everyone else likes to run. I'm sorry on behalf of the park, I'm sorry that the night turned out that way, even though it's not necessarily my duty to apologize on behalf of the park because there's nothing I could have done to control that situation. I don't work for security. I don't work for the police officers or for the firefighters or paramedics. I just work for the rights department. Um, but I believe that everyone was safe that night. I still believe that no one's life was in immediate danger. Um, yes, there's been another threat made for Halloween night of this year towards the park. I pray that that is just a threat and nothing else is made of it and that the people who made that threat get, you know, legal discipline because you're not allowed to make a threat against anyone's safety. The law forbids that. And this is an amusement park. People are supposed to enjoy themselves, not be worried for their life that something bad is going to happen to them. And I still believe that it was just some stupid teenagers and some stupid fights that broke out and no one actually was in immediate danger. Um, all the employees that I spoke to said that they didn't hear like actual gunshots. They just 
Excuse me, they just said that they saw a bunch of people running. And they heard rumors about an active shooter in the park. But as far as I know, because of what I've heard from others, that is not the case. Um, I hope that if you were there that night, whether it be a guest or an employee working for the park, that if this was a very traumatic experience for you and it's hard to try and recover from it, that you go seek some professional help, some licensed help. Because PTSD can occur from an experience like this. Um, all the employees that worked for the park received an email on October 27th at 2.12 a.m. The email basically says that no one in the park was actually in danger that night. Security was, I guess, able to take care of the fighting, the fights that broke out, and um, that the park never actually closed that night. A few of the rides did stop running for the time being because the employees had to go backstage and had to help get the guests out of like food warehouses and cafeterias for the employees and for games warehouses. And there was also guests that chose to jump fences and get into restricted areas to get away from the massive group of people that were running towards the back of the park. If you were a part of the people that were fighting or if you were a part of the group of teenagers that decided to start running just to create mass hysteria. We do not take this lightly. It is not funny. It is not a joke. And it should never have occurred in your mind that this was a good thing to do. If you seriously thought that this was a funny thing to do and it was just a way to waste time and waste other people's time. You were wrong for choosing to do something like this. And you seriously need to reevaluate what you are doing with your life if you think that this is the only way to have fun. Fighting should never happen in any sort of amusement park. It does happen. And most of the time, it does not create a situation like this. The only other time that I can think of where something major like this occurred at Great America is when is when uh, July 4th, 2019, a person who was not in the park, they were outside of the park, they got into a fight with someone else and they chose to open fire into a group of people right before the fireworks display happened. I was not working that night. I just started working back in August. I only heard about it on the news and I never was injured from that night. Physically, I'm not injured from this previous Saturday night either. And I don't think anyone was actually, like, killed or seriously injured physically from this. <sighs> On behalf of the park, I want to say that I appreciate if you were there as a guest. And if you chose to cooperate with security and with employees to try and help you get back. Um, towards the front of the park safely. I appreciate that you did your best to cooperate with us Because as employees working in rides or working for the haunt or working for games or entertainment or food We did not prepare for this 
There is no way for us to have prepared for a situation like this. This is not in our training. This is not in our handbooks. We did the best that we could, cooperating with security and cooperating with you guys to make sure you were all safe. Because for rides, that is our duty. That is what we have signed to do, is to protect you on the ride and make sure you are safe. So thank you for choosing to watch this video about what was actually rumor compared to what was actually true. Um, if you have a different story, you may choose to leave it in the comments below. Just please do not be very rude about it because I do not think that's an easy way. I don't think I do not think that's a fair way to try and get what happened to you across. To try and get your side of the story across. To be rude and to try and say, oh well you're wrong because I saw all this and stuff. I'm going based off of what I saw. And everyone has a different side of their story for that night. So if you want to be kind and say, hey, this is what happened to me, I politely disagree with what you said because of this, 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 and this, you may feel free to do that. But do not think it is okay to just say, oh, well, you're wrong. You're stupid. You don't know what's going on because you were at the back of the park. I was at the front of the park. Yes, everyone had a different side of the story to that night. Employees I talked to all said the same thing is that they did not actually see a gunman. They didn't actually hear shots. So whether or not you want to feed the rumors or you want to choose and try and hear it from an employee's perspective, that's up to you. But security did their best to make sure everyone was safe that night. And I do not honestly think that anyone working in the park planned for this to happen. Why would you plan for something like this to happen? You don't plan for mass hysteria and chaos to ensue at an amusement park of all places. So to make the long story short, this, excuse me, this is what I know to be true. There was fights that broke out towards the front of the park, and there was also people running away from the front of the park towards the back of the park, which caused the chaos and the mass hysteria. And... The park never actually officially closed that night until 1 a.m. like it was supposed to. Therefore, the park never actually reopened. The rides did stop because employees had to go backstage and help evacuate guests from warehouses and um, restricted areas. But other than that, no guests, as far as I can tell, were physically harmed. No employees were physically harmed. Mentally, we were all just a bit shaken up. So that's all I have to say about the situation. If you would like to leave a comment, please do so respectfully. Um, and if it really did take a toll on you mentally and you do not feel like you can just well, not just recover, but if you do not feel like you can recover on your own from this, go ahead and seek some professional help. Therapists are very um, smart and they know how to help people deal with situations like this. And PTSD is a very real thing. So if you think that you may have some sort of 
uh, mental um, illness, go ahead and talk to somebody. And do your best to try and remain calm in a situation like this. That is what we all had to do. Us employees had to make sure that we were all safe. That the entire people of Great America were safe that night. We all came together to ensure safety after that chaos had ensued. And I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it helped clear your mind and ease your mind. Um, and if you would like to leave a comment, like I said, just do so respectfully. Any really disrespectful and really rude comments will not be tolerated. Thank you.